I'm Sylvester Ryan, mixologist, alongside another great mixologist, Justin Ballantyne. We are here, Marcy West Morins, and we're going to be mixing up some excellent Christmas cocktails. Come along for the journey. We're going inside to Marcy now to get all the ingredients for these cocktails. Let's go. It's a very nice one, yeah. And we could use it in a couple of cocktails today. All right, all right, all right. Eggnog. 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 That's a good one. You'll find something else to do with it. Nice? Let's go with that. Which apple to choose? You can choose the red gal apples. If it is me, you know, Martin, you can look excellent on top. Yeah, we are cognac. We are cognac. Vodka. Vodka. Mm -hmm. Right. So, try some vodka. We want a good vodka, but very simple. So, absolute. Absolute. Yeah. Bottle nice, right? A nice bottle. Nice. So we have this one. Justin. We need something to tie these flavors together. Right. So we have the sour factor. Right. We have a little bit of sweet. Orange liquor. There we go. Triple set. Triple set. Four cocktails. That's it. I need something to get the eggnog that local, local taste. You know? People make eggnog all over the world, eh? But I don't add the spices. So you can spice it up. You can spice it up. That's right. We need about six. Yeah? I'm thinking for the, for the other vodka cocktail, we could use jam, like a breakfast martini, right? Correct. Nice. So, what are you going with? Guava? I, I think that's no good. I think that's good. Right? Right, so we got everything. We're heading out of Massey West Morings and we're heading to get the sorrel, then onto some great cocktails. Right, so we're here. Justin. Time to get some sorrel. Partner, what going on? Yeah. Nice, nice. I hear you using man with the best sorrel. Mm -hmm. So, let's see what we're going to do with this. Fresh sorrel. Right, so we're back in studio. You saw us pick up all the items from Massey West Morins, and now we're gonna start mixing. But in order to get to the mixing, we're gonna have to have the prep ready. For prep, we're gonna be doing our simple syrups, our sorrel juice, and everything to make sure we're ready for the perfect Christmas cocktail. Right, for this, I'm gonna bring in my boy, Justin. So, wait a stop. Simple syrup? Simple syrup. How simple. simple is a simple syrup? One to one. one Sugar, to one. water. Well, all right. Let's get mixing. Yeah. As you see, one to one. One to one. Right. So, right. so one to one is? Equal parts. Equal so you remember parts. your home. Right. So anything I use in a, a glass. Right. Right. So I throw in one glass. One full glass of water. Don't worry about the spill. Right. One. So you get one. So now nice. you're filling this with sugar. Same way, one. Same way, one. Right? How are doing this? You can do, you can take a spoon, you can throw it out. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> so now you got a spoon. So right. So now that, if it is you're making simple syrup, you have two ways you can make simple syrup. You can use a one-to-one, -one, which is a basic simple syrup. Or if you want it a little more body, you can do a rich simple syrup, which is two-to-one. Two sugar to one, one water. Now if you're making fruity simple syrup, you can use fresh juices and add the sugar so you replace any water with juices. Mm -hmm. Right? And now what you want to do, take the same spoon and even out your sugar. And after that, you just let it simmer. Right? So that's it. Simple syrup. So we give this about a five minutes and we should be good to go with simple syrup. Right. So 
while we have the simple syrup going, right? How about we get the sorrel started? Because I know yeah. that's going to take some time to really to, steep to in the water. In, yeah. yeah. Right. So, ingredients for a good sorrel. You know, we like our thing like that. Right. We're going in with a little bit of bay leaf. Sure. Right? I like to break it in half. Give it a little room inside. And spread it around. Make it good. Right. Right. After this, star anise. That's important. That is add a nice bold. That is spice. Spice, yeah. low, low, low flavor. Right. Put three it. Right. Nice. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. To balance out the loudness. Right? Now, if you get these fresh, it works excellent mm -hmm. because you could rub them, you could squeeze them in. But also, you could also store them by cutting them and drying My them out. My grandmother used to store this in. in a brown bag and put it in the back in the kitchen. Because you know why? It's so made good tea too. Yeah. yeah. So we're trying that in. Right. And of course, you must have clothes. Must. Clothes are that nice Christmas. I don't think you have anything in Christmas that you do put clothes in. You know? Ham, your, your, sure. your brine, everything that you're using for Christmas must have clothes. Yeah, so we finish finishing up with some nutmeg or not? Yeah. So we're going to grate a little nutmeg. Bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Right? Right. right. And that is it. I'm just going to let that simmer. That is it. Nice. So you just keep checking on your simple syrup. Make sure it's nice. You'll see when it starts to get a little tick, there's any your simple syrup ready. But of course. Right? So your fire not supposed to be too high, nice and low, and just bring it to a small simmer. Good going. Right, so easy, simple syrup. Simple syrup, finish. Nice. Now this is a simple, simple syrup, right? right. So I'm just going to just take off some of this here because we're going to be using some regular simple syrup, right? And then we're going to infuse the rest of the simple syrup. With ginger? With ginger. And that's how easy it is. So we just take some slices. Be mindful of your fingers when it is you're doing this at home. We are trained professionals. <laughs> so, right. So this simple syrup mm -hmm. infused with, with ginger yes. is for a cocktail later on. That is for the cocktail later. All right. So, you know, it's just all part of the prep. Yeah. Right? And that's it. So, we have everything prepped. We're ready for the first cocktail. What right. better way to start than a breakfast cocktail, right? Well, it's just about that time. Well, all right. So, let's do a breakfast cocktail. Right. In Massey, we picked up Guava Jam. Right. Unconventional, but hey. Well, you know, we as, as mixologists, we, we, we find the ingredients to really do yeah. something. You right? tend to play with a lot of ingredients that people yes. are not accustomed to. So I have guava jam. Right. Now, not all garnishes for the drink, because you know we just think ahead, right? Right. Have to be this big elaborate thing. So what I went ahead and did was take some granulated sugar. Right. Put some um, cinnamon, cinnamon powder in there, and mix it up. So you get that mouthfeel when you go to it. You get the sense, you get the flavors, right. and you so, get the taste as well, right? So, so you're creating the aromatics, yes. as well as you're creating a taste profile for the as you want now. Nice. Now, so let's get mixing. So right. What are we going in with? So first thing we like to do, when we go and mix a breakfast martini, is make sure that you have everything that you need. Right. Now I see you have two vodkas here. So right. we have original absolute. Right. And then... We have this very special one that we picked up at Massey, which is the Elix. Right. So the Elix now is a more superb, more quality taste on the traditional absolute vodka. Mm. It's also a wheat vodka. Right, right, right. right. So it adds so a little more flavor one. to it. So we're going with that one. Yeah, it's a single estate, copper crafted. Um, right. I think to the smoothness of it as well, the real taste of the jam will come true. Right. So because it's a neutral spirit, mm -hmm. it adds more room to play when it comes to mixing drinks. Nice. So we're going ahead with that. Right. Let's do this. So traditionally, it was orange marmalade, but because we're from the Caribbean and we like to spice things up a little bit of flavor profile, we're going to use the guava jam. Right. Right. So one bar spoon goes in. I like something. I like something. Sometimes I like that flavor. Right. Let's get from it. You know, as tuning. Right. So that is there for this. Nice. To the jam, mm -hmm. we're going to add lime juice. That's citrus. To balance off the sweet. Right. Nice. Now, remember, we still have the triple set to add in mm -hmm. as the additional, right, to go with us. 
right? So we're just going to squeeze one half of this into the tin. Which will give you like a chicken. Give you like because half of a chicken. Or we could do the whole thing because it's a nice juicy lime, right? So we're just going to squeeze this in here. Right. Make sure you get all them juices out. We're not worrying about seeds and things we're going to straight out show you, I'll show you why it is we, we're not worried about the seeds and stuff. Nice. Right? Nice. Right? So we're going to balance off now. So that three quarter, that three quarter ounce of lime, we're going to add three quarter ounce of triple sec. Nice. Right? Right? So the standard pour is usually one and a half ounces. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going with this morning. Nice. In the meantime, I just want to... Go ahead and prep that glass for me. Really prep the glass. Just take it. Just pass it right in the jam there. Yeah. Right. So right, we're going half the glass. We're not going full. Yeah. Because right? for some people, they don't like to have a full glass rimmed. So you could use half the glass or you could yeah. use none. So I'm going to jam on half the glass. Right. I'm just going to pass it now in the sugar. Simple. Nice, balanced. There's no set of sugar inside, no mm -hmm. excess sugar outside. Simple. Now we're using party eyes, right? That's right. Ready? That's it. Full 10 second shake. We're going for 12. Let's go. So double straining is using two strainers to make sure any ice particles, the lime seeds, any additives don't get into it. Nice. Right? Like any color so far. Nice, nice, nice color. Right? And it blends in with the cinnamon. So we have a nice lemony, zest, citrus, but then you get a nice little mellow guava taste to the back of it. Mm -hmm. And it's not too overpowering because remember, absolute is a very, very nice neutral spirit to use in any cocktail. So what I'm saying is, if you're having a breakfast party, you're having something going on at home, impress your friends. Look how easy that was to me. Justin and I are going to be making some more cocktails. So, I mean, look at it. Stay tuned. Right. Remember we was making a ginger syrup before? Right. Right. So how about we take some of that? Right? Real simple, simple cocktail. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start off just with my ginger. All right. Now I want a good, strong ginger taste. All right, so right. three quarter ounce. Three quarter ounce. All right. All right. So you're going back with the vodka again. Going back with vodka. Now remember, you said we twist in the classic, right? Right. So I already have my three quarters in there. Mm -hmm. All right. That add my nice pungent ginger. Now, I want to see what's the twist in this. Right. So I'm balancing it back out. And this is the twist. Remember the sorrel juice we made earlier? Yeah, right. Nice. So I'm actually going to bring sorrel in it. So it's a nice right. twist, man. Yeah. So, so now, in keeping with tradition, usually for a Moscow mule, you would have ginger beer to top off. We substituted yeah. the ginger beer partially. Partially. I'm just going to be putting a quarter of triple sec. Just all a quarter. Right, all right. A quarter. So I see okay. ready to I see ready to coming in here. Nice. Can you see this? Fresh, this is fresh. Freshly squeezed lime juice. Freshly squeezed lime juice. Some steady hands there, but right. You do this thing a while? Just a little while. Just a little while. Alright. Just gonna get this thing a quick shape. Right, so half glass of ice. Should be nice. enough for you. No need to fine strain because we had nothing really inside of it that yeah. would need, you know? And then on top of that, it has ice in the glass already. So the little shards of ice will not be a problem. Nice. So I want to finish this with just a little bit of ginger beer. Again. So we add in fist it. We add in fist it. Nice. So we keep to the classic, but we put a little twist. A little Christmas twist. You want so, to see another Christmas twist? Let me see another Christmas twist. I took one of the fresh sorrel that we got that we got down the road right all right and i just put some mint leaves inside of it 
Watch out, Stick it down inside, eh? Simple. Right. Wow. Fantastic. Not too strong, not too sweet? Balanced. Balanced. I'll have to try one of the sweeter today. Definitely. Sidecar. Twist on a sidecar. Twist on a sidecar. Twist on a sidecar. Christmas edition. Christmas edition. Well, all right. So since you're spice it up with the mm -hmm. ginger mm -hmm. and the syrup, mm -hmm. I'll keep the I'll keep the syrup. You can all keep right. your ginger. All right. right? So a traditional sidecar is triple sec, lime, simple, and a little bit of cognac. Right. Right? So since we have the martel, I'll start off with the cheaper ingredients today which is the fresh lemon that we're using, right? And say, Thelma, we gotta squeeze it out, you know? We get it yeah, out here, get the juice the, here. The limes and things in it, right? right no really seeds. Really good for TV land. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, so we're squeezing out the juice. Nice. So this is our fresh lemon juice here. Nice. That we're gonna use for our cocktails. We replace any simple syrup with sorrel. Right. So we're gonna do two in the sorrel. You want a bottle and sell it? Nah, I'll leave that for you. <laughs> when I come down my cut and chew, I'll get a bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have... Sorry. Sorry, Lee. Lemon. I didn't need the citrus. Right. So the citrus, remember we said we're going with three quarter. Nice. So... So right. you're really keeping a lot of the... Classic the Classic, ingredients. traditional ingredients going back into it, like what I did with the earlier cocktail. Yeah. You're just pulling your twist it. Right. So we're going one and a half. Right. Straight up. So we have a nice chilled glass. Here, yeah, let me move this out of the way. What we're going to do now is a bitters rinse, right? So, which is we're going to take the bitters, two dashes, swirl it around, right? And just leave it to the back here. So, you get the nice aromatics when it is your pour in the drink. You get a nice bitters rinse in your cocktail glass. And all I did was just take the rind, cut a nice little slice. A nice little twist. And make a little twist. And, pull it. and that will go just on the edge. So watch how nice and coaty this is. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a, a double strain again. Right. To make sure no shards of ice gets into the drink. Because this is typically done as a martini, but I see you putting it in front. Right. So usually it's a martini. But remember, we're working with measures now. Right. So being that we're working with measures, you want to make sure you have the right glass for the right amount of liquid that you have in it. Yeah. And shaking a cocktail gives you 20% dilution most times. So this is how we look in here. Nice. So right. So nice, simple Christmas cocktail. We keep in a traditional. Mm -hmm. A twist on a sidecar. Nice. Right? But before you drink it, what I want to do, because they know me, I all about the mouth feel, right? It's okay. just past the same thing. You're right, right? Right around the whole edge. So, right. so that as you put your mouth in, you get a full citrus taste. You get the full citrus taste, but you also get the aromatic soup. Mm -hmm. Because when you lift it, and you bring it in, you smell any lime, you smell any bitters as well. It's all about the total experience. So let me see what the taste is like now. All right. I'll fit in here too. Nice, smooth. It brings out the special notes from the barrel agent with the martel. Can't go wrong. Say no more. You have a nickname. What did I call it? Oh, I knew you was going to do that too. Let me see why did I call it that. Well, I right. want to know. Why Everybody, if you all did not know, they call me the Mojito King. So, let me make a mojito. Quick, fresh, right in front of you. And I'm actually just going to be building this. Nothing shaken, nothing stirred. Straight up goodness. But again, we're keeping with the twist. So, I am going to be using cognac. I mean, it's only right. Everybody know mojitos right. is rum, mojitos is rum, but yeah. we're doing it different, right? We're doing it all different now. Well, all right. So, right. So, let me build this thing quick. So, I'm going to be using lime. Mm -hmm. I'm going to twist it with a little bit of apple. All right. Sugar. Sugar. Mint. Mint. Okay, you know, you can't have a mojito without mint. Come on. All right.
I like these nice cocktails, mm -hmm. but I feel like I take a spoon and eat this like a chow. Watch how I mix up now, boy. That is it. But it's all about, again, fresh ingredients and that Christmas feel. Who don't remember having apples for Christmas? Having that ginger beer. You know, most people that's had fresh the little pear jacks and this and that. Yeah. Beer. And this is it. This nice, is it. Nice, nice, nice. You understand? It's all right. So we're going to clean up here mm -hmm. because I want to show you how to make a simple, quick eggnog. Nah, man. Simple, quick eggnog. Egg one time. You just to stay on set. Nah. On spot, shake on eggnog, drink ready to go one time. I just see you do that. All right. We have reached that time. So, right. Tell me how you're going to make this ready, on spot eggnog, Trini style. I'm going to start off with two bar spoons of sugar. All right. All right. Quick, simple, nothing. You see, and there is a difference between this and a punch of cream because usually with punch of cream, you don't put sugar, you use condensed milk. Right. So, so we put the pumpkin spice. Nice. So we're going to do one whole egg. Right. Right. So we're trying not to get no shells in, but one whole egg. All right. A bar spoon of water. Right. right. So that's like a teaspoon. Yeah. Bar spoon is really like five ml, so it's a little less than a teaspoon. So right. So Look we out have for all, all the ingredients, ingredients and measurements. Detailed. Below. Right. So now we're gonna give you one full serving of matter. Right? A dry shake. No ice. Is no ice. Nice. Now there's a cobbler shaker, three part shaker, built in with a strainer. All right, you make sure the air comes out, then you right. shake. So the purpose of the dry shake is really to emulsify, emulsify the egg. Emulsify the egg mm -hmm. and create a foam, but also brings the other rich ingredients together and breaks it out. Well, as we say, marry the flavors. Marry the flavor. Nice, nice, nice. So you wouldn't see when it's in frothing up, mm -hmm. but if you listen, they are like shaking a shak shak and listening to parham. You ever hear the song? Yeah, well, I mean, when you're ready. As a true professional, you just know when you're ready. Yeah. Right. So, if it is you don't use egg or you don't eat egg and you're vegan, right? We have something called aquafaba, which is really chickpeas water. So, the same channel that you just get in the mm -hmm. you just open it, you take the, the juice water that's be inside of that, that water that mixed with the channel, mm -hmm. and you use that as a substitute instead of using the egg. Well, all right. Same, same flavor, so, viscosity, everything. Let me garnish this. You go ahead. Right. Put the garnish. you want to get your hand in this drink. Boy, I just want to put just a little bit of it on top again. Right. right? I want to put a cinnamon stick just over top. Right. Right? So and then I want to take... Now, this is the same cinnamon sugar that we made earlier on today. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So we're yeah, using yeah. it. So we're using so it back. We keep incorporating That's everything that we use in multiple yeah. drinks. Hey, hey, hey. You're everything that I want from this drink. Yeah. I'm so excited. It's so, right. <laughs> so now all I had to say is, mm -hmm. have a sip. What do you think? Why bottle this and sell it, boy? Nah. This real nice boy. That is only when you come home, you get at home. You don't get at no way. But it's nice boy. You know, sometimes you just don't have that bottle of punch cream home. Or you don't have that eggnog home for when people pop across. That ever happened to all you? People just pull up in front of your house. You're and all they're saying is, I ain't expect you. But we come to Parang, even though you're supposed to Parang right now, it's COVID, right? But still, yeah. the pull up, you say, you know what? Let me do this. Ba, 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 it ba, ain't ba, taking ba. you five minutes to make this. And they're watching it on the ball and Justin, but you're bad boy. Anybody could do this at home. Quick, simple Christmas drinks. Mm. Mm. And you know what's a good thing about it? When you go massy, mm. you're getting everything right. Yeah. Yeah, but you're studying all that. All I study in is. You want to finish this? Man. I just go to my impress my wife with this. I go, baby, watch this. Boom. Done. That is it. You know how to go tag in. I'm telling you, that points. Yeah, points. you can't go around, you can't go Good looking out, good looking out. So, right. That is why I like to have my bar brothers with me. You know, we always bounce and we learn off each other. That always. Right, so we want to say thank you to Massey Stores for having Justin and I come in and pick up all these awesome ingredients to make these items for you all today. 
We'd like to say thank you for Marcy Distribution for allowing us to showcase these products. A very lovely cognac mm -hmm. and a vodka yes, with some nice Christmas twist cocktails for this season that is coming upon us. Most definitely. So look out for all the recipes on these items on the website. We're on Facebook, on YouTube, on everything. It's Eat Our Food. Look Can't out for it.